All right, we got the Dayton, Nevada-based John Connor Terminator car. Yes, John Connor. Think about that for a second. Um, T1000 is the number of that car. And uh, Dayton-based out of Reno, or excuse me, out of Nevada there as he goes through gate two, course four. We'll uh, see what his strategy is. Does he take the cone? Does he try to make a clean run? Does he go against the clock? A lot of strategy playing in to course four today. But um, to be honest, course three has produced quite a few DNFs in our prototype class. So all these courses are causing these drivers a bit of a pickle as John Connor is going to go ahead and take the two cone as he drops that Terminator buggy off of that cliff there. Come on now. Blip it, blip it, blip it, blip it, blip it. Way to three-wheel it. There you go. Lowrider style, three wheels, one in the air. All right. Good job, man. Nice job, John. So he's going to be going for the time now also. Again, all these drivers have have uh, have negotiated the gate, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Are they going to make him go through? Yep, they're going to make John go through again. So you must get three wheels around that cone. It doesn't matter if you hit one or not. You do have to get three wheels. So... <laughs> If dropping off of that thing isn't bad <laughs> enough, John Connor gets to do it again. Is it easier now that you've done it? I don't know. <laughs> so he's got to get three wheels around that thing, even if he does take that cone again. And we had the marshal say that that was a, not a three-wheel passage there. As, And I don't think it was his fault. I think, I think it's going to do it again. Another three-wheel with once again... No three wheels passing. Unreal. Bad, bad luck for John Connor as he's he's going to have to run this thing a third time. That wheel just keeps coming up, and that car starts crabbing over, and the judges are saying, "No, it's uh, you are not getting around that." Um, so um, yeah. Wow. So the. Judges and the marshals are having a conversation with John Connor over there about the fact that he did not, in fact, get three wheels around the cone or the imaginative cone because um, once it's removed, you still do have to get past it. So here goes John Connor up for a third round of <laughs> the gate two, course four. Wow. All right. So all you prototype drivers out there that have been worried about course four's gate two, uh, John Connor's going for his third round on this thing, turning it into a regular trail run with his buddies. Wow. He's going to try to carry that little buggy's tires up and tires up and higher once again. Only two wheels passing. It is just a tough break of the gravity. He's shaking his head. He's not sure what to do. There's nothing that he is and or can do to change that. The way that buggy drops off, it shifts. The back end comes up, starts to pivot, and the wheels go over the cone. So not once, not twice, not three times, the fourth attempt at course four, gate two, John Connor. Here we are thinking that that thing was the linchpin of the day, and John Connor's done it, or about ready to do it for the fourth time. As he's gonna try to carry that back in nice and high this time and get a better line, because as soon as the front wheels drop over, that buggy pivots, and those back wheels end up sliding over the top of the cone, and therefore, having a no pass I look forward to speaking to him about the difference from his uh in his mind going so you've done it a few times what do you think so he's gonna he's not sure what to do I mean it's really nothing that he's doing he's gonna try to pin that chassis a little bit more oh god 
gosh, do they give it to him? It's going to come to the judges. See what the judges say. Did I see him? It appears that they have given them the nod. John Connor <laughs> four times over that lump. Absolutely. Come on, you guys. Yell. Scream. We've seen him put these things together. Gosh, dang, to do it four times. And it really wasn't any of his fault. Just the luck of gravity doing the pull and shoving that the back of that buggy up over the imaginative cone at that point. Again, you must pass three tires through even if you do take the cone out. Wow. <laughs> so now John Connor, to be honest, he's up against the clock at this point. Um, gonna do everything he can to not do a DNF here as he's turning that vehicle around. So I got the mic, I got a liar, I got an obnoxious voice and, and, uh, and a couple of loud speakers. So I am, uh, I am available for public service announcements, whether you lose a car or, or lose a kid or lose a key or need somebody somewhere, just come see me. I'll try to make that. And with that said, Peggio, is there a Peggio somewhere here? Who, who's Peggio? Put your hand up. Peggio, you out there? Anyway. Battery level is low. Peggio, the aircraft the will go to the you. home point in 10 oh. seconds. <laughs> John Connor turning that car around on course four. And uh, going to hopefully get to that finish line before the time clocks out on him. as a bunch of our other vehicles are low battery warning getting ready to stage for all the other courses that are still running here here he comes john connor heading to the finish line watch yourselves get down holy cow <laughs> i leave it to jesse haynes and john connor to finish in in fourth gear <laughs> my god So, hey, I'm here with John Connor. So, everybody's been like, oh, gate two, course four. You did it four times, dude. Yeah, it actually, it wasn't that bad. The rear end just jumps over, and I wasn't getting three tires, so I had to keep doing it. <laughs> no, it was like there is nothing that he is doing wrong. It's just gravity is not helping the T-1000. <laughs> right? Yeah, it was, it was a great course, though. I mean, it was tough. Good to see you come through without a timeout. It's been the, kind of the game all day. Everybody's been like, we got to take the time, you know, take the cone and then take the time. And But to sit and do it four times, that's awesome, man. Thanks for the show. Thanks, man. <laughs> Good luck the rest of the day. John Connor in the T-1000. Not once, not twice, not three times, four times off that big jump. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> And there was nothing he could do except look over at the dang judges, and they're like, nope, uh, didn't make it, dude. So back up around he would go. And then finally on that fourth time, the judges' heads nodded up.